Okay, so we're going to prepare our bronzini dish on a special this week. It's bronzini tossed with butternut squash has been roasted with English peas and a lemon jam. So we have our bronzini. You can get this from any fishmonger. Just make sure that they gut the fish for you. Bronzini is in the uh, bass family and it is native to the Mediterranean. So first we're going to do is we're going to take off the back fins over here using a serrated pair of scissors. Be careful because these are sharp. I'm going to remove each little fin on either side and down towards the belly. It also be really well, good if you um, ask your monger to scale the fish for you. So at this point you have two options. One, if you're going to do a nice dinner for your family, you can just roast it whole or you can take the bones out, which we're going to do here at the restaurant. So it's a great little technique that you have. You're going to remove the whole backbone inside of this fish. So you want to take a fillet knife or a paring knife and find the bone with your finger and put your knife right there on that bone and just with the tip of it, just ride the knife on the back of that bone. You go all the way through. You come right about here so you can just kind of work like a little latch with the tail. Pull it really taut and go right back on top of that backbone. You can do the same on the other side. This is a great technique uh, that I came up with working at a Spanish restaurant. We used to do fast table side. And People kept taking the fish back that they wanted us to take the head and the bones off. So it's a little technique that I kind of made up. So at this point we have that backbone. We take our shears and clip either side at the tail and right back up at the head. So at this point, we have a semi-boneless whole fish. Okay. Put our vegetable oil into the pan. You don't want to use extra virgin, it's going to burn the fish. And we're just going to let this warm up while we season our fish. But we're not going to season the skin, because if we season the skin, it's going to be really, really salty. As that skin crisps, the salt is going to crisp with it. So we're going to open our fish up, and we just season very gently the inside of the fish. And that is all it needs. We're going to really just let the flavor of the fresh fish be the star of this plate. We're going to put the fish down away from us. It never towards us. You can hear that cracking. We don't want any of that water in the fish to come and burn us. Splash up in our face. And we're not going to touch it. We're just going to let nature do it, its course. While the fish is cooking, we're going to start making our veg for this particular dish. We're going to take another pan. And this time we're going to start off with some extra virgin olive oil. About three tablespoons. And a little bit of garlic and shallots into the pan. We're starting off in a cold pan because we want the garlic and shallot not to burn. We want to extract all of their essence inside of it. See the garlic and shallots are kind of popping a little bit. That's what we're looking for. We're going to add in our roasted butter and squash. It's just been roasted simply with salt and pepper. Don't try doing that at home. Oh, it's just <laughs> so We're going to add in some our English peas. And some fresh basil. I didn't cut the basil. I just merely just torn. Basil has one of those herbs that's just a tendency just to bruise as soon as you cut it. We're going to throw in our spinach. A little bit of salt. And we're just going to put it aside. You see our fish right here? It's turning a little bit of brown on the bottom of the side of the edges. That's what you're really looking for. There's a better shot of it right there. That means that I'm ready to pick the fish up. It comes off with ease. It doesn't stick. Take it off the heat. Pick the fish up by its head. 
just come right back down gently. And we're going to cook the other side for about three minutes. So it's been about three minutes. You want to stick this into a 350 degree oven for about another five minutes. This out. We have some beans here at the restaurant. These are our Corona beans. They're just simply marinated with some fresh herbs, lemon juice. We're going to put some of these at the bottom of the plate. But you can use anything at home. You can use um, great northern beans, cannellini beans, butter beans. You just have fun with it. Create your own marinade. Just make sure you have some type of acid in this dish. These beans need that. They're just so needy. So we put our beans down. We're going to put our sauteed vegetables that we made. We have some beautiful colors here. towel just to remove any type of excess oil that would be on that fish. Gently pick it up. Add to the dish. And then we're making our little bit of our oregano and lemon jam right on top. You want to get one of these fancy zesters the Williams Sonoma and just zest a little bit of lemon right on top of it. That is a special of the week with bronzini with lemon oregano jam. <laughs>